Now that we have created a script or in other words recorded a script, let's look at all the enhancements that we can make to this particular script. The first enhancement that we wanted to do to this script is adding those transactions. We already understood what is a transaction, but let's have a quick re review as to what it is. A transaction measures the system performance resulting from one or more user actions. Well, you could have a login transaction, a logout transaction or order a checkbook uh, transaction, it could be any transaction. So by inserting these transactions, you will be looking at the response times for those particular transactions. And this is the only means by, by which you would know the transaction response times for that particular transaction and also if the transaction is a pass or a fail. This is the only way that you would know whether this is possible or not. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and demonstrate the same thing for you practically and various ways of inserting this particular transaction into, the partic into a particular script. For demonstration of inserting the transaction points, I'll go ahead and use the same script which is my first script one. In my first script one, if you have a quick recap, we have created two actions, HTML based script and URL based script. And both of the scripts have the same transactions which is launch, login and logout. But just the way you have recorded is different. So I'll go ahead and use the HTML based script and I will de delete the URL based script because it's the same script which is recorded using two different options. And I will name this appropriately. If you remember correctly, we have captured the scripts for launch, login and logout. So I will name this action as login. So how do I rename the action? Right click, click on rename and then give the name that you want and click on OK. So I'll repeat the steps again to rename the action. Right click, rename the action, give the name that whatever you want and click on OK. So now that I've renamed this action, I'll go ahead and use this particular script, my first script in that the action called login for inserting my transaction points. Let's have a quicker look on this one, uh, on the script. For that, I'll move to the plane layout and click on the action called login.c. And this piece of request, web request, is for login and this is for log off, sign off and this is for launch. So I will show you how to insert the scripts, how to, how to insert the transactions for the launch transaction. So this particular web request is for the launch. So to capture the response times for this, you have to put the start transaction over here just before this request and end transaction over here after this request. So I'll put the start transaction. There are multiple ways to do it. Right click, insert, and then start transaction. Bingo, the, the code for start transaction has been added. Give an appropriate name. Since this is for launch transaction, launch page transaction, I'll give it as launch page. And this is where it ends. Right click, insert, end transaction, and give the same name, which is launch page. There you go. Now you're capturing the response times for the launch page. Similarly, you can do, you can insert the transactions for login as well. So we know this piece of code is for the login. So the start transaction should go just above this request and end transaction should go after this request. So repeat the same steps that you have done earlier for this one so that you will be able to capture the response times for this transaction as well. We'll go ahead and replay back the script just to make sure that the response times for this particular launch page has been captured or not. So I'll go ahead and replay. You can replay it from here or from here. We have already discussed about that. So I'm going ahead and replaying. So the replay has been done. The script is passed. But what I am interested in is the response times for launch page transaction. So for looking at the response times for launch page transaction, what I would do is I look at in the output replay log. 
So since my runtime settings doesn't include the login transactions, the login, trans the login action is not executed. So to execute this login action, what I have to do is I have to go to the runtime settings. And you see, there is no login action in my runtime settings. That is the reason why the login action has not been executed earlier. So we will go ahead and include that in my run. Just click on the run and then insert action and make sure the login is selected. So in my runtime settings, in the run logic, in the run, make sure my login action is there so that this login action will be executed. So the star over here means that you have made some changes and it's not saved yet. Click on save. Now I'll go ahead and execute now again. And this time around, the login action will be executed. And in this login action, I've inserted the transaction called launch page. So I'll go ahead and execute it again. Wonderful. The script has passed, but what I would be interested is the response times for launch page transaction. For looking at that, what I would do is I'll go to this output pane. In output pane, I look at the replay log. In the replay log, I'll look for this trans log launch page transaction. You see, launch page transaction has started over here and launch page transaction has ended over here with the past status and how much time it took for it? 0.3568 seconds. So that is the response times for launch page transaction. So this is one way of inserting the transactions after the recording is done. But we can insert the transactions while the recording is done as well. To demonstrate that, what I will do is I'll go ahead and record the script again. So the script is already there, but I wanted to record it again. So I'll record it on the top of this script. So just go ahead and click on record and I will record it in the, in the action called login. Now all this script will be erased and new script will be added over here. So we have discussed about all these options earlier. Leave as it is, don't touch any of them. Click on start recording. Now, I wanted to capture the response times for login, let's assume. Earlier, I've demonstrated, demonstrated it for launch page after the recording is done. Now, while the recording is done, I'm demonstrating the response times or the transactions, inserting the transactions for login. So, I'm about to login. So, first I will insert the start transaction. How do I do it? Go to this panel which is belonging to the ViewGen. In that, find a button called Insert Trans Start Transaction. Now, I'm capturing the response times for login. So, I'll say Login Page Transaction. Click on OK. Now, I'll go ahead and login. If you want, you can insert the comments as well, which you already know how to do that. I have logged in. Now, I will end this transaction called login page transaction. Similarly, you can put the transaction for sign off as well, but I'm not going to do that. That is an assignment for you. Click on sign off and then stop recording. Now we will go investigate the script as to if my login page transaction has been captured by the script or not. Before I do that, I'll co correlate this one. So the status is new. Just click on correlate so that the status becomes applied. We've already discussed about this window earlier in my earlier videos. However, in detail, we talk about this window in a chapter called correlation. Now, if you pay a little more attention to the script, you see the login page transaction, start transaction has been added over here and it is ended over here. Okay, so this is while the recording is been done. So I'll go ahead and replay back just to make sure that even for the login page transaction, we can look at the response times. The script has executed. I wanted to check 
if the login page transaction has been captured or not. You go to the output replay log and look at this carefully. The login page transaction has started and the login page transaction ended with the pass and how much time it took for logging in just 0 0.203 seconds. So this is how you can insert the transactions and capture the response times. Do remember that in order to capture the response times, the only way you can do is by inserting the transactions.